Welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how you can uh, deploy QTS Cloud on a KVM-based hypervisor. Please note that uh, for this uh, video, uh, we are going to use uh, Ubuntu as our uh, uh, operating system and within Ubuntu, we'll use the uh, VM Manager, Virtual Machine Manager, uh, which is uh, based on KVM. Okay, it's a KVM-based hypervisor. So we are going to use the VM Manager on uh, Ubuntu. Uh, to show you how you can deploy QTS Cloud, okay? So let's get started. So <clears throat> first what you need to do is, uh, as always, you have to go to the download center of QNAP and download the QTS Cloud image. So let me show you. So you can go to the web, uh, web browser, okay? And uh, type, uh, uh, go to the download center and choose uh, QTS Cloud uh, in the product type and QTS Cloud in the model type, okay? And you will if you scroll down, you will see this uh, QTS Cloud.full. What we have to do is we have to download this QTS Cloud.full image and save it to your local machine. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, you can click on this uh, global uh, this uh, download link and save it on your local machine. So I have already uh, done that. So let me show you. Yeah, this is where I have already saved it. I have already downloaded it here. Okay, so after this, the next step is <clears throat> we'll go to the VM manager okay so open the virtual machine manager and click on this uh, left icon which create which uh, allows you to create the new virtual machine okay so this new VM uh, window will pop up and you have to choose the fourth option that is import existing disk image the fourth option and click on the forward button and uh, you have to provide the path to the image that you just downloaded from uh, QTS cloud download center okay so you can go to browse and uh, browse local and yeah choose this img format image and uh, you have to choose linux in the os type and ubuntu version you can keep it the latest uh, in our case it's 1804 lts so just keep this one and click on the forward button and uh, please specify the memory and the cpu as per your uh, requirements uh, we are going to give it a 4 gb ram and uh, two virtual uh, uh, cores uh, CPU and uh, you can give the name of your virtual machine so we'll call it QTS cloud uh, uh, let's say C452 which is the version number okay and uh, please make sure you know you have to click on this button called uh, customize configuration before install this is very important why because uh, before installation we want to also add one uh, 200 GB hard disk or if you want to add more hard disk so in order to add more storage disk, uh, you have to choose this option. Otherwise, you will not get uh, you will not get the option to add the storage disk. Okay, so please remember to keep this button as checked, and then proceed. Okay. Uh, yeah. So next, and uh, as I said, now what we have to do is before we begin installation, we have to add a uh, storage disk. So. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's go to this Vert I/O disk one. Okay, and add hardware. Now in the hardware, please add a 200 GB disk. You can add even more. So for our video, we'll just use 200 GB disk. Uh, we need 200 GB because if you want, to, sorry, if you want to create a storage pool within a QTS cloud, you need at least 200 GB. Okay. So once we do that, um, all you have to do is just click on this finish button and. Uh, yeah, and that's it. I think your disk is already uh, added. Okay, so uh, yeah, so I think uh, that's all. And then click on the begin installation. And once you click on begin installation, you will see that your uh, virtual machine will uh, start booting up. Okay, so normally, um, of course, uh, this boot up is uh, going, uh, it's booting up for the very first time. So uh, it can take some time. Okay, so we'll just wait for. Uh, uh, our uh, virtual machine to uh, boot up okay and uh, once uh, it will boot up what we need is we need the IP address of uh, our virtual machine so that we can type this IP address in the web browser and once you type the IP address in the web browser you will be able to uh, uh, you will be able to access the QTS cloud uh, web interface okay so that is all we have to do so it's really really simple um, all you have to do is just prepare uh, uh, any Linux machine which supports uh, uh, which supports uh, KVM based hypervisor and all KVM based hypervisors have a, a user interface which is similar to this one okay 
and if you want us to cover some other uh, linux based hypervisor please do let us know and we'll do a video about that as well okay okay so uh, our um, uh, virtual machine has uh, finished booting up and as you can see just above the login just above the login uh, 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 line welcome to the qnaps products just above this there is a lan ip address showing 192 168 122 242 i cannot move my uh, mouse here because i think it, it's not uh, allowed so remember this ip address 192 168 122 242 okay so we'll use this ip address so this is the ip address of your virtual machine okay so next just go to the web browser and type the ip address here and yeah as you can see we have already reached the qts cloud uh landing uh, the qts cloud installation page okay so yeah so that's how you know we install the qts cloud and once you have the license key you can enter the license key here so uh, in order to purchase qts cloud uh, buying the license key activating the license key uh, buying the license activating the license key and initializing qts cloud uh, all those uh, things are covered in different tutorials okay and you can go to our uh, uh, tutorial main page and you can see all those tutorials there we'll end we'll also add the tutorial link in the description okay about how to initialize qts cloud okay so yeah so that's how uh, you know uh, that's how easy it is this is this is how we uh, deploy a qts cloud on a kvm based uh, hypervisor okay so uh, that's all so thanks thanks for watching guys and um, um, if there is anything else you need please